Auckland said no, Wellington said no, Hamilton said yes. And now New Zealand's dairy capital is nine days away from being transformed into a high-speed street racing circuit. Remember this. Here we go, oh, hit the wall and went up, have a Oh, it's the Wellington Street Race from a decade and a half ago, and those of us who do remember it fondly will recall that cities don't become racetracks without undergoing a major transformation. Well, will Hamilton be ready? You betcha. Are they looking forward to it? You betcha. Which makes it easy to forget that just a couple of years ago, the future of the V8 street race was considered non-existent. So, who exactly saved the race and brought a multi-million dollar bonanza to Hamilton in the process? Claire Sylvester with the Race Kings. Hamilton, a city transformed. <laughs> suburb of Frankton has become a 3.4k race circuit and in a week and a half more than 150,000 people will be here to watch the biggest annual sporting event in New Zealand. How many days to go? How many hours to go? Minutes? I've, I've no idea but not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Calvert and Steve Valuta are Capital Street Race Management, the organisers of the inaugural Hamilton 400 street race. What kind of hours have you guys been putting in recently? About 16 to 20 hours a day for the last every day, seven days a week for I can't remember when. So He's looking a lot older than what he, he did when before I started, he started. Yeah. What you see around us, including all the structures over there, I mean they had to be put up in a period of six weeks and then pulled down in two weeks. So it's not like Sunday night we can kick back and go, well done mate. You can. Well done mate, I was, we've still got a big job got after an enormous that job after to, it, um, but, to get rid of it all. The job's far from over. Steve Valletta. Hello, Dean speaking. Yeah, no, everything's great, mate. Hello, Dean speaking. Mm-hmm. Hi. But the finish line's in sight. Like, okay, what have we always called it? A bit of a marriage, where mm. um, he's the spender of the... Of the um, yeah, he purse. raises the money and I spend, I spend it. it so. Just make sure I don't spend as much as he raises. Dean and Steve met four years ago when they were working for IMG on the failed Auckland bid. They then formed their own company to try and secure Wellington. Then that fell through, a crushing disappointment. But what they couldn't foresee at that time was that Hamilton was not the consolation prize. Um, personally, I think we left the best till last. We've got uh, you know, a, a huge amount of support by the council, mm. and that was never the case in Wellington or Auckland. We're here, we've had 100% support from the council. Mm. Um, the, you know, it's sort of like the small city attitude, where, you know, the, the city gets behind everything, 100% or not. They admit a massive event like this has been an imposition on many businesses, and it's been Dean's job to smooth the way. Unfortunately, these uh, are not removable blocks, are they, Dean? No, they're not. And if they had been, then three could have been removed and we would have had our normal vehicle access. Have yeah, you noticed um, an effect on your business? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I had the lowest week ever in the five years I owned the business last week. But there have been positives too. The video store has rented out its superb view of the race corner for big bucks. Steve's the logistics man. He knows every step, every block of the course. We've got a circuit that is um, uh, 200 metres longer than Adelaide. But our, our conservative estimate put it at two seconds a lap quicker. But in talking with Greg Murphy last week when he was here, he said it's quicker than you think. He's got hundreds of people working for him, but that hasn't stopped him getting involved with every detail he can. Where are all the power outlets and the people sit? They've gone and stuck the legs in the way. Right. You're a details man, Steve. I am. <laughs> this is what is called race control. This is, you know, all gets put in and then pulled apart. In a, uh, in a two week period after it. So what drives you? Um, the challenge of it all and uh, the size of it, scale of it and that um, just the determination to do it the best. Hamilton's the New Zealand home of the V8 supercars for at least the next seven years. Dean and Steve are making a commitment too. Dean's moved out to Raglan because yeah. it just coincided with his passion for surfing so that was perfect for him. And, um, and I've moved into town, my family have moved down here um, trying to sell a house in Auckland, um, but yeah, I'm a Hamiltonian. Can we have you back in Auckland to organise the Rugby World Cup, since you've done a good job here? Um, I'm not sure I could put up with the traffic. Of course, these guys will be hoping to make money out of the V8s, 
but so will Hamilton. It's estimated $20 million will be injected into the economy. When you're looking around at the city and, and what, you've, what you've done here, what you've changed, what are you thinking? Not only Hamilton, but New Zealand should be proud of this. We're just a couple of Kiwi blokes here and have, have really, I believe, stepped up to what they can deliver overseas. So New Zealand should be really proud that we can put on something like this um, to the level of quality that's been, that's mm. been uh, achieved.